team, Travis here from Bioathletic, and we're talking mid-season. We're kind of getting to the middle of the sporting seasons where rugby, soccer, uh, AFL, uh, they're all starting to get to that stage where the mid-season niggle kicks in. That is that little annoying injury that just doesn't let up. It's the one you notice there on training nights, it's the one you notice there after the games, and it's getting to the stage where you've kind of got three options to deal with it. My first one is the hope approach. Uh, it's my less favoured, um, simply because you just hope that it goes away. Uh, you continue training, you continue playing, and you just hope. Um, obviously, that doesn't always work out. Second approach is to manage your load. Now that means avoid doing heavier sessions throughout the week, play your games on the weekend, and manage the load so you don't put too much stress through that injured area. Now, this can work for a short period of time, but if you're not seeing any real change in the approach, in other words, you add load again and it starts to get worse, then you're not actually fixing anything, and what you're actually gonna end up doing is losing fitness overall, which then leaves you more susceptible to other injuries, and the cycle continues, and things can escalate quite quickly. The third approach is to actually just do something about the niggle that you've got. Find the mechanical fault that's causing it. Find the mobility issue that you have, which is leading to it. Fix the strength deficit, whatever it might be. You just need to figure out what's causing the issue and go ahead and fix it. There's no point playing hope games if you can actually fix this thing and avoid spending time on the sidelines, uh, avoid missing the finals, whatever it might be. So that's my approach to mid-season niggles. And if we can be of service to you guys, we would love to help out. We are open in Manly and Tarrant Point and we're here to help. Hit me up in the DM if you've got any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you in store.